Hey friends, in Isaiah chapter 61, we find a prophetic declaration of the anointing and calling that would rest on the promised Messiah. And in Luke chapter four, Jesus is in his hometown of Nazareth, speaking in the synagogue. He reads this passage and says, today, this scripture is being fulfilled. Isaiah 61 says this, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me, for the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to comfort the broken heart and to proclaim that captives will be released and prisoners will be free. It says that captives will be released and prisoners will be free. You know, for many years as a believer, I saw that as one concept until one day the Holy Spirit showed me something that was really hiding in plain sight. These are actually two different groups of people in two different conditions, and they represent two different ways that Jesus brings freedom to our lives. You see, a captive is someone that is being held or hindered against their will, oftentimes due to circumstances beyond their control. In life, there could be areas that we are at risk of being held captive spiritually due to things that have been done or said to us, due to unfair, unforeseen circumstances, or traumatic events, or some sort of abuse. Most times, a prisoner is being held because of something they have themselves actually done, because of sins or violations they really committed. In my life, I know this is true. There are things that have happened to me beyond my control that have attempted to keep me in captivity and bondage. And there are also things I have actually done, things I've actually said, things for which I have fully deserved the penalty that was due to me. The good news is this, Jesus came to heal, forgive, and set us free from both conditions, in the places that things have occurred to you that you never anticipated or deserved, and in the ways we all have actually sinned because of our own pride, selfishness, or rebellion. The work of Jesus at the cross sets us free from both. The doors of captivity, the chains of bondage are able to be broken by the power of the name, the power of the blood of Jesus. So if there's an area of spiritual bondage, anything in any area that is hindering or holding you back, shame, rejection, condemnation, or sin, Look to Jesus today. Be reminded he came to set both the captives and the prisoners free.